Hi, this is your event chef, Musum. Today we focus on vendor selection. Vendors, I said. They are not newspaper sellers, they are actually service providers. I remember one event I heard of that one of the vendors, that's the food first thing, they bring food on time and when the food came after the event was over. I cannot even imagine the horror, I cannot even imagine the bride crying, I cannot even imagine the guest. You need to understand that these people have the power to either make or mar your events. So you need to make sure that the process of selecting this vendor is a very critical one. As critical as choosing the spouse that you spend the rest of your life with. Yes, I said that. So you need to make sure that the process is well defined and you, you need to detail the process and then you will go through it better. Now, one of the best ways to do that, because the question you ask me is how then do you choose these vendors? Number one, you need to do your research. In choosing these vendors, they don't fall from sky, you need to do it. See, my dear, Google is not complaining. Go online, shop every corner. Check for the best vendors. Google, I'm sure you find something. Go on Instagram these days. Do as much research as possible. Ask around, ask your friends. You might have friends who recently just got married or you have friends whose friends just got married. Just ask for contact, ask for friends who did a good job and then someone who they can refer. I'm sure you get a better contact from there. Having done all of this ones, what you should set the person you want to use, arrange a meeting. At this meeting is where you get, and which is number two, arrange a meeting, get all the important information about these vendors. Get their address, get their phone number, get every information that you will need on the days of trouble. You need to go and find this person. So this is, in this meeting is where you get all of that information. Number three is you need to get your ideas out of, the, out of the bag. You need to tell them, this is what I'm thinking about. These are my ideas, these are my visions, these are my dreams. And you need to, you know, tell them everything as much as possible and make sure that you are not stuck with a vendor who is saying, oh no, this thing cannot work. If you are with a vendor who is saying, oh my God, this idea is too vague, it can't work, this is time to run. Such vendor cannot interpret your idea, let alone believe it. So you have to make sure that you're with a vendor who understands your vision and understands your dream and can achieve your vision. And then number four is check out the chemistry. You need to check out if you have to get your great chemistry with this vendor. Don't go and get a vendor or hire a vendor that you are not very comfortable with. You miss the vendor that's already giving you attitude that says already what? What is that? You need to make sure that you have good chemistry with this vendor. And then number five, you need to have a written binding document with this vendor. My dear, don't go and enter one chance. This is the time where everything that you have said is time to put it on paper. I know that we get lazy at this point where we do not want to document things, we do not want to write things, or we're afraid of signing. My dear, sign on the day of trouble. When the vendor wants to try nonsense with you or come late, it's time to trust the vendors, you know, the binding contracts that you guys have, and then be cutting somebody there and there because, my dear. You need those documents, so make sure that you document everything that you have said, such that it's written on paper. Go oh, wait, you're serious. Then don't no show for my wedding, child. I will lock up the entire village. In fact, they shall sleep in jail for the rest of their life. But seriously, oh my God.